Hey everyone, it's Jeannie. I am back to share this really fun Christmas card with you today. I am using the Not Too Shabby Cup of Cheer, the Trinity Stamps Big Snowflake Cut and Foil, and the Slimline Lovely Fall Hues Paper Pack. I went into this card because I wanted to use non-traditional Christmas colors. It's been kind of a thing that I've been doing lately where I just really have been drawn to non-traditional colors. I pulled out the Lovely Fall Hues because it has these paper pieces that kind of look like glitter and I thought that they would be perfect to cut these snowflakes out of. So that's what I did. I pulled out a bunch of colors because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use just the snowflake and the shadow together or just by itself. I was originally thinking maybe I'd do a shaker card or something like that, but I ended up really liking how the snowflakes looked on that glittery looking piece of paper. There's no glitter on this paper. It's really smooth, but it has that glitter look. So I thought it was really cool. It has that texture that you kind of want and not have to deal with glitter cardstock because sometimes it's really hard to cut out like especially with intricate dyes like this one so I used three different colors I cut out the snowflakes and I am putting it on top of this dark plummy color that is also in the lovely fall hues paper pack I arranged it on my cardstock so it would cover everything so the slimline papers I believe they're sized at four by nine so this is a little smaller than an a2 card I trimmed it down so it would be four and five and a half inches and then I will be you know matting it on a bigger piece of paper so it would fall along with the A2 size. I am just using some liquid glue to glue down these snowflakes and cover up all the space on this card. I thought it's really pretty like I I filmed this during the day where the sun was shining so it's really hard to see the color differences within the colors. Trust me they're there. It's kind of a pink purple and blue glitteriness and I really liked it. So for my sentiment, I will be stamping it and heat embossing on vellum in white embossing powder. I'm just using the Merry Christmas sentiment from the stamp set. The stamp set is part of the November stamp and die of the month. It's something that is super cute and you can pick it up for the holidays. I pulled out another one of the mauve colors in the paper pack and I am just creating the A2 size. So basically I'm just using my Misty so I can kind of faux mat it on a A2 card panel. I really like doing that because I just think it adds extra color to the card. So for the image that I'm using today for today's card, I'm using the cute little penguin holding this large cup of cocoa and I just stamped it out on cardstock. I plan on cutting him out later. I'm just going to go in and color him using some Copic markers. Confession time. I actually had stamped and colored him once previously and if you noticed, I think he showed up in or he will show up in some clips. I did not like how the color combination of him ended up and I removed it. I re-stamped and recolored because I was just wasn't happy. Like I know I've mentioned multiple times that I'm just not good at picking colors sometimes and that was a struggle. So because there was purple paper and I'm using on dark plum paper, I thought that it would be super cute to color the penguin's little Santa hat in purple and then his whole outfit in purple. I just was not happy with it. I colored the cup blue and I mean that looks okay because I was trying to incorporate the blue from the snowflakes as well but I used like a darker blue. Anyway it just looked funky. It just didn't belong and I was so unhappy with it so I just recolored it. In this version of the penguin I decided that he wasn't wearing any clothes. He's just gonna be naked and I am coloring up his entire body. I thought it would just be easier this way because I I didn't want it to clash with the cup itself. In the previous image I colored, I also realized that like the bottom handle part of the cup, I colored as if it was part of his clothes. I obviously colored that wrong or I looked at it wrong. I went with simple and he's just going to be a naked penguin without clothes and it's just the Santa hat that I will be picking a color for. For his Santa hat, I decided to go with pink because I don't really have like a good Copic combination for mauve. I kind of wanted the color to match the lighter mauve color that I matted my card base on, but I just don't think I have the right color combinations to do that. So I went with just my favorite combo of pink and I had the bright idea of adding V12, which is this violet color. After I added the V12, it kind of took away all the darker pink colors that I used. It just looked super flat, but I went in again with the darker colors and I was able to put back in the dimension. So 
it just looked a lot better and I was happier with it. I had really put so much ink down in that area that I didn't want it to start bleeding. So I just left it alone. For the cup, I decided that I wanted it to match the penguin's hat as well. So I just went with pink. Sometimes when I'm not sure of what color I want to use, I'll just use the same colors that I used for other parts of the image. I did want to pull in some more blue. I do use like this brighter blue that sort of matches that glitter paper and I thought that it just made it really pop and pull it all together. But I just really like my snowflake background because I just wasn't expecting to create this type of card at all. I really was set on doing a shaker card until I cut out the first snowflake and I was like nope this is going to be a background. What I did was I wrapped the vellum strip with the sentiment around my card panel and then I'll be gluing down the little penguin and that's it for the card. It is super simple. It's such a sweet card. It's really easy to put together and I was really happy with it once I recolored my penguin. So sometimes you might color something and it just might look a little off. Go with your gut and start over. It doesn't hurt to start over at all. Sometimes you don't want to but some times you just have to. <laughs> so yeah, that is my card for today and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!